Hello everyone. In this video I will show you how to calculate between two dates using Tableau. The reason I have Excel here is to show you how this is done in Excel and how it could be a little bit difficult to do it in Tableau. In Excel there is a, um, a function already programmed embedded into Excel that allows you to count between two dates um, using uh, network days where you put the first uh, criteria date, second date criteria and then put the holiday uh, control on the third uh, criteria and then enter. So this allows you to count between two dates use excluding the weekends as well as excluding any holiday that you would like. I, I put these uh, holidays just for the sake of um, just a uh, fake uh, holiday day just for the sake of um, this example. But if you were to do this in Tableau, it's a different case. So I, uh, this the Tableau mimics the same, t the same table has been imported onto Tableau here. As you can see, we have the start date and end date. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put the tabulation of uh, both of these columns, start date and end date. So we can have an clear idea of how we calculate between them. Uh, so in order to save time I went ahead and wrote a calculation field for the start time for the start date. Uh, that will be oops sorry it already exists so that will be calculate uh, sorry cal calculated start date. It's a good practice to always uh, use uh, the prefix of cal cal uh, CLC on your calculated fields. So I put this here between start date and end date. Um, the reason, um, one second. So what is the start date? So the start date calculated calculation is that I use the date part and date add functionalities. So date part tells uh, Tableau that if date part weekday, uh, uh, the first command of function tells Tableau that if the weekday of the weekday portion of the date uh, of the start date is equal to seven, if any of the start date equals on the seventh uh, day of the week. So the way Tableau reads it is just um, is that it counts between it counts Sunday as the first day and Saturday the seventh day. So it will go as first day, second day, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So we are telling Tableau that if a, a start date starts on a Saturday, okay, then add the date date add. Then add how many days? We first you put the date, the criteria of how many value you want to add intervals. So first you put the date, and then you put the number of intervals. So you said add two dates, two days, add two days to start date, okay? And then you say else f if if date part meaning the the first portion, the weekday portion of our start date was equal to one, which tells us which means Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven days in a week, and Sunday is the first day of the week, and that's the format that Tableau sees it as. So, if the first day, if if the start day is is Sunday, that you're telling Tableau is that if the start day is Sunday, this day, then, uh, then, then date add meaning add day date part. And then you put the interval, which is one day. So if it starts on a Sunday, then you want Tableau to count the next day. And if it starts on a Saturday, then you ask Tableau to count this the second day. So not this day, you count count the Monday. So you add two days. So if it equals to one, then you said date add, a date add, which means add day days. How many day? One day. So this makes sun this makes Saturdays to become Monday. This makes Sundays to become Monday else just use otherwise just use the start date so if it does not meet these criteria use the start date and that's how the logical functions are in Tableau and it's pretty much uh, common in, in other tools as well if criteria then this else if criteria then this otherwise this so otherwise start date and then end 
you click on OK. So this was the start date. Same thing for the um, end date. I'm going to go ahead and rename these because when I was writing the calculation, I did not uh, do a good job with the naming convention. So I'm going to put calculate and put end date. So the same thing with the end date. Uh, you will do the same thing. If date part, if, if any part of the date, which is if weekday date part is, um, one second, uh, if the weekday date part is um, uh, is is equal to seven, meaning again seven is um, which day seven Saturday. So if it's Saturday, then add two days, make it Monday. Same thing. If the end date weekday e equal to one, which means Saturday, uh, which means Sunday, then add. One, uh, do, which means Sunday, then add one day, make it Monday. So if it's Saturday, make it Monday by adding two days. If it's Sunday, then make it Monday by adding one day. Otherwise, use the end date, meaning you use whatever date is out is there. If it does not meet these two criteria, then use the date that's there. And so you would make two uh, calculated fields for start and end date. And I just put the start date here before I, uh, I show the calculation I'll also put the end date next to it so because I would like to show you uh, what this calculation did um, uh, put the attribute here so as you can see uh, the start date this is the start date and it's calculated start date so start date that had April 1st as a start date changed to April 3rd why did it change uh, because April 1st ends it lands on a Saturday, so it automatically starts on a, on a Monday. So the date, the calculation changed the date to 3rd. April 1st changed it to April 3rd. Um, another one is uh, February 18 changed to February 20. So February 18, you go to February 18, it changed February 18, it lands on a Saturday. So it changed to February 20, as you can see. So 18 changes to 20, right here, it changes to Monday. January 9, it did not change because January 9 must be a regular uh, business day, Monday. So they did not change. Same thing with May 2. May 2 should not change because May 2 is not on a does not land on a weekend. May 2 is on Tuesday. Same thing when the with the end date. So this is the end date. This is the end date, and there's a calculated end date. So now that we actually calculated for weekends to exclude the weekends. We're going to count between the two calculated fields. We're not going to count between. We're not going to count between um, actual dates, but we're going to, rather we're going to count between two calculated dates, meaning these two. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another calculation calculated field, which I've already done here, because I wanted to not to waste. Well, I don't want to keep this video short. So you. Um, you start with minimum, and I'll explain why you want to do this. So first, date diff. Date diff is the fun is the function for bringing date difference between two dates. So date difference um, tell you, you, at first you bring out the date difference between the week the weekdays, and then you multiply that by uh, by the week, uh, weekdays, but you multiply that by the weeks. So first you put uh, date difference weekday uh, calculated start date calculated end date and the good thing about Tableau is that automatically if you change the name of the calculation field here it will automatically apply it here so I had the date uh, different dates with uh, calculate dates dates names before it's changed now so it's good and then minus two remember these this function you can actually copy it. I'll also put a code the, the uh, copy of the um, these the functions on the note uh, on my uh, on uh, on on the on the comment box, and then minus two times the difference. This time you'll do um, difference of the week, and then minus one. And then what you will do is you're going to count this. You're going to minus it against the holiday dates. So remember, and the holiday date is this. Um, is this uh, field right here, which as I describe it, the one, two, three, four, five holidays that I have actually uh, created here that I imported there. So now you're going to factor in the holidays. Not only are you going to factor in the weekends, but you're also going to factor in the holidays. 
So the reason you're going to write a minimum is because you're going to need two aggregated fields in order to do minus. Otherwise, if you get rid of minimum, then it's going to give you an error and say, we cannot mix aggregate with a non-aggregated uh, arguments. The, uh, it's very important that you keep them uniform. Otherwise, Tableau will not be able to do calculation for you. So click on OK. So you have your calculation here. Uh, calculation 3 is the name. So uh, I, can I would just call it final calc, calc final. And simply get it, bring it, and put it on uh, on the box here, on the text box here. As you can see, uh, January 9, the start date. And um, I can also actually put the task name here just to, there you go. So task one, which is conduct a book review, started in started in uh, kind of uh, started in February 18. The calcul the calculated field moved it from February 18 to 20 because it was on a weekend, and then the end date was a 20 on the 24th. 24. 24 was not on a weekend, so it keeps 24. It gives us three days. So between February 20 and 24, it gives us three days. So let's go to February. And look at it. So February 20th to 24th. 20 is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So the the way a Tableau does it is it counts it, it counts the same day as zero. So it's one, two, three, four, four days. But because we have a holiday between the twenty the 20th and the 24th, which is which is this holiday, which is on the 22nd, so it actually minus out one day out of the holiday. Same thing with others. May May, uh, May 2nd to May 4th is one day because, again, like I said, it counts one day between two dates. We could, that's changeable, but but common protocol is to use uh, is, is to is to uh, uh, is to calculate zero for same day uh, start and end dates. Uh, same thing with April 3rd to April 6th. It's two days. And January 9 to January 12, two days. Uh, maybe because between January 9 and January 12, we have probably have a holiday, and we do. January 9 to yep, January 11. So January 9 to 12 is two days because we have a holiday on the 11. So January 9 to 12, 1, 2, 3, but minus 1 because of holiday. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much.